So what we do is we first of all check uh, if options are available, so if the user has specified options. And then we extend, which is essentially just merging uh, two uh, objects or arrays in this case together. Uh, and we want to merge uh, or extend settings to options. Uh, so now what we've done is we've just basically taken values and then combined them with the pre-default settings that we've created here. Uh, that's really all there is to it. So when I, whenever I'm creating a jQuery plugin and I'm using this notation, I always go ahead and alert out uh, one of my settings so I know that it's actually working. So we're going to go ahead and alert out settings and because of course this is an array, we're going to alert out color. So inside ext.js, let's just go ahead and apply this plugin to the document. So it's uh, .highlight and then inside, let's not specify anything at all and let's refresh you can see that we've got null returned here. Uh, that's obviously because, like I said, this is the default value. Uh, I haven't supplied any sort of options or settings inside of here, therefore null is the uh, is the predefined or default value. If it was yellow and I refreshed, we get the uh, value yellow up. So now what we want to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to null, and I'm gonna actually supply uh, some, you know, options to this plugin. So let's go ahead and type in color, which is the name of my option. Remember over here, my name, the name of my option here. And color is going to be yellow. So now that I've actually supplied it, we have this if option, so this equals true. We extend it in and then this takes over this value. So now when I refresh, you see we get yellow. Uh, if I was to go ahead and inside of here, specify this as red or red rather, not read, and refresh, you can see we've got red. So we've now successfully passed this uh, you know, parameter or this setting to our plugin. So now what we can go ahead and do is use this.css and we can set the background color to settings color because we've already echoed this setting out so we know that it works. So we can go ahead and use CSS to set the background color in this case. So let's go ahead and refresh. Oh, let's go ahead and specify color. Color. And change that there. Uh, in actual fact, no, we don't need that. Sorry, uh, I forgot to actually go ahead and apply it to something relevant. Uh, we use this without the dollar sign and whatever else because we've used this notation here and um, we're not required to inside of our plugin. We're setting the background color to the setting specified uh, as we've already talked about here. So in this case it's red. Um, let's go ahead and actually apply this to something relevant and in this case it's the strong tags or in this case every strong tag on the page. So now when we refresh you see that the background is highlighted with red. Uh, we can go ahead and then specify something like yellow for example and refresh and you can see that it does exactly the same thing. Now let's go ahead and look at what we want to do if we want to add a second option into here. So essentially what we do is we might say foreground uh, black or foreground white, for example. So what this would do is we're supplying the first, which is the highlight color, and then the foreground color we can uh, do as well. So let's go ahead and modify our plugin. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down here, and I'm gonna comma onto the end of here, and I'm gonna say foreground null, so by default it's nothing. Uh, let's just pull that down a little bit more. Uh, if options, this line we don't need to change because we're still extending the options given to our predefined setting uh, array. So we're extending them settings to our options. We're then saying this.css background color is settings color, but now we can again say this.css or this.css uh, color, which is obviously the foreground color in CSS, and we can supply foreground from our settings. So we've uh, quite easily added in uh, another option here, which is foreground. And uh, this won't take effect just at the moment, but if we go ahead and specify foreground, let's say red in here, uh, you'll see that that's transferred through to our plugin using the foreground option there. Uh, we merge and then we use this uh, settings array to change the color uh, using CSS in uh, jQuery.
So in this tutorial, we've learned how we can obviously create our function, which you should have already known, I guess, if you're watching this from the other videos. Uh, we predefine our settings. In my case, I, I always choose them as null. Uh, however, if you wanted the default for, uh, background color to be yellow and the default um, foreground to black or hash 0, 0, 0 uh, you would do that. Um, and then we merge the settings with the options that are given so we can then use them use the user settings and we use this array to access each one so we've created more or less a pointless um, plugin but it has demonstrated how that we how we pass options uh, to our plugin and actually make use of them